Hey, it's Todd Newton. You know, the holidays mean a couple of things. Number one, they mean spending time with the ones you love. And number two, it means me hopping on the podcast here to plug my books. You know, you pour your heart and soul into a couple of books and and, and people seem to enjoy them. Uh, but you, you got to keep plugging. You've got to keep plugging away. I mean, that, look, there are a lot of you that are just joining us because of the, the radio show. And you're thinking to yourself, this guy has books. I got a couple of them. Life in the Bonus Round, which was named Best Autobiography at the prestigious Beverly Hills Book Awards. And The Host with the Most, Tales of a Tattooed Television Personality. Both available on Amazon. Both available on ToddNewtonOnline.com. And 100% of the proceeds from the sale of those books goes directly to the Michael J. Fox Foundation. We love the Michael J. Fox Foundation, all they're doing to find a cure for Parkinson's disease research. So uh, I know we can't spend time together in person during the holidays, but I can sure plug my books with you. So order them today, Amazon and or at ToddNewtonOnline.com. Welcome to the Todd Newton Morning Show Podcast. Featuring weekly highlights from the most talked about show on the FM dial. Now, with the talk that will keep you talking. Here's Todd Newton and Maria Todd. Question for you, Maria. This is kind of one of those uh, would you questions. You know, you, I, okay. I'll, I'll never make you follow through on it, but I, I figure it's Memorial Day. A lot of people are just kind of sitting around listening thinking about things that don't really don't really matter. So let me kind of <laughs> add to that. It's a holiday, man. It's a holiday. If if you knew that it would result in you living longer, okay? Okay. Would you reduce your amount of television viewing by 1 hour a day? If you could live just a little bit longer, not talking years, Maybe one year. If it would add a year to the end of your life, would you watch one less hour of TV every day? Oh, absolutely. Would you? Because there's a, there's yeah. new research out of the University of Cambridge that says watching too much TV increases the risk of heart disease. It has nothing to do with genetic makeup, uh, but it says that some of the heart disease cases could be prevented if people watch less than uh, if they reduce their TV viewing by one hour per day. So you got to figure, let's say, let's say it tax on a year at the end. And as George Carlin used to famously say, it's, you know, it's one of the bad years. You know, it's not like from 32 <laughs> to 33. It's, it's one of the ones at the end there. Uh, if if you reduced a lifetime's worth of entertainment on television, you kind of really gotta you gotta lay it all out on the table there. Well, come on, aren't there some shows that you watch that you wish you had that time back? Yeah, yes, <laughs> yes. There'd be whole series that I was like, you know what? I would have never even started watching this. I when I look back on it, I probably could have lived without uh, watching Friends. You know, I see I watch Friends now uh, occasionally, you know, if it, it, no, I don't. What am I saying? I haven't watched Friends. In fr <laughs> but 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 we watched it so much when it was on mm -hmm. that, that it's just always burned on it. But I think back, you know, did I ever really laugh that hard at Friends? I don't think I did. Maybe to a couple of things Joey did, you know, but the rest of the right. time, I don't know if I did. Look, I, I could have lived without I'm going to throw a big one. Uh-huh. On the line, I could have not watched Seinfeld. Truth, truth. Uh oh, radio silence. Yeah, no, no, no. I hit the wrong thing, but <laughs> no. I'm like, yeah, you know, it was like a mild laugh. I could have just watched a stand-up special. Right, right. I could, yeah, I could have lived without Seinfeld. You know what a really good show is, and I, I loved it as a kid. And when my kids were young, I would sit there with them and watch it and think, this is this is a this is a fine television program sesame street love have it. you ever watched it in another language no you learn stuff i would i would imagine when i lived in san francisco they had a russian sesame street they had a spanish sesame street they probably had one in vietnamese or something uh -huh. or chinese or something i just never found that one but one time i stopped so i learned one word in russian yablaka what, what does you that know mean? what it means no apple 
there was an old Russian couple that was trying to get to the doctor's office, but they didn't speak good English. And the person at the desk didn't speak good, didn't speak any Russian. So I figured out what was going on, got them to their bus. And so the woman asked me, do you speak any Russian? And I go, Yablaka. She starts cracking up. <laughs> Look at you. Because she's like, why do you even know that word? Hi. Hello. Hi. Hey. You are listening to The Todd Newton Morning Show with Maria Todd. Maria, let's talk sexy time. And let's do it in a way that two professional broadcasters such as us might deliver this type of information to our to our fine uh, friends out there, all right? All right, sit back, folks. This is going to be bumpy. Now, if you were to say, go visit your aunt in Virginia, and your aunt was going to put you in the uh, guest bedroom, floral wallpaper, uh, you know, kind of a, a bunch of frilly, frilly pillows laying around much like and and by the way as i'm describing this i'm thinking about what my mother turned my bedroom into the moment i moved out of my house (laughs) but if, if if you are put in a room like that you're probably less likely to feel romantic than you would be if you were in a a nice hotel right right definitely Because, because whether we've thought about it or not where we sleep does indeed affect our sex life. This is according to sexpert Jesse Wild. And Maria had a great question. How do you become a sexpert? You know, if if you're, if if you're. I guess you got to have a last name like Wild. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, I guess that would help. And it's spelled with an E on the end too, which only amps it up. Yeah. Um, But sexpert Jess Wild claims that there are specific colors that can really play into the level of your sex life. Much in the same way, there are some colors that can get in the way of your sex life. Now, we always hear colors like uh, red, pink, maybe, are associated with passion, associated with sex. But the sex bird says, if you don't like red, and if, if you don't like pink, if you don't want your bedroom to look like it belongs to a Disney princess... You might want to go for dark purple or even black. If you want your bedroom to be associated what? with good, hot loving, dark purple or black. Let's think about that for a moment, Maria. If you are dating someone and you walk into their home for the first time and their bedroom walls are painted black, you run. You run. Yeah, I'm I'm so out of there. Yeah, yeah, you 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 leave. You you don't stay. You don't stay for that, right? Yeah, uh, this that's just to me that's dungeon. To me that's uh, you know I've got a secret button yeah, over like here that's going to lock me the out door. Of here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be drinking water and eating bread for the next four years until someone comes to rescue me. That's. <laughs> Uh, the sex expert <laughs> says you may want to avoid colors like gray and green. Uh, green in particular, Jess says, is more associated with relaxation. So while it may be great for helping you calm down and helping you sleep, you know, that's why theaters have green rooms, theoretically, so that the, the, the huh. performers can kind of relax before they go on stage. Uh, it may not be oh. a great color for initiating feelings of sexiness. So there you go. If you're having some problems in the bedroom, maybe just, you know, go to the Home Depot and ask for the darkest purple they have, you know, and enjoy your, enjoy yourself. <laughs> or just frame an eggplant emoji over your bed. Yeah, that's the dirty one, isn't it? The eggplant? <laughs> is, is it? I know it's purple. It is, and yeah, it's yeah. the right color. <laughs> Apparently so. Thank you. See who needs this sex bro. We got one right here every morning with Maria. At last. (laughs) Thank you for being part of the conversation. Subscribe now so you never miss a beat. For more Todd and Maria, visit ToddNewtonMorningShow.com. The Todd Newton Morning Show Podcast. Great talk that will keep you talking. Produced by the host with the most LLC. All rights reserved.